The Deep Space Radiation Probe will be Taiwan's first scientific payload to leave low Earth orbit and land on the moon. With the Artemis program and multiple lunar return missions, as well as the need for infrastructure for long duration stays, understanding the space environments for Earth-Moon transfer, lunar orbit, and the lunar surface has become crucial. DSRP will be able to provide DSRP DSRP is a 0.3 U payload mounted on the exterior of the iSpace Resilience Lunar Lander for Hakuto R Mission 2. It includes a control board, processing unit, radiation dosimeter, and flash memory for storing data and detecting single event upsets. The payload's chassis is protected by a radiator and multi-layer insulation to shield the internal electronics from extreme thermal radiation. The harsh deep space environment with high ionizing radiation fluxes and extreme temperatures poses significant challenges for satellites, astronauts, and electronic equipment. DSRP has successfully overcome key limitations such as weight, data transmission, and vehicle integration. This innovation will significantly enhance Taiwan's space technology capabilities and contribute to future exploration missions. DSRP's design 这项突破将为未来的太空任务奠定技术基础 As countries return to the moon and commercialize space services, the ability to design and implement deep space vehicles is becoming increasingly essential. DSRP除了为未来太空探索任务提供有理辐射数据以外,也促进了国际合作,培育了生态空探索的人才,确保台湾在这波全球太空热潮中不会缺席。DSRP's applications extend beyond lunar exploration, as it will be installed on other satellite missions to continuously provide deep space radiation data.